All right, so what we're going to do today, we're going to mount some specimens, um, two different species. I'll just give you a run about uh, how we actually set the board up. It's just a normal cork board. Um, as you can see, it's got various holes in it where there's been quite a lot of setting by myself. And uh, what I tend to do is, because the actual board has got all the holes, I tend to line the board with just normal A4 paper both sides and you can chop this either a pair of scissors or a guillotine I use a guillotine so we layer the board like this leaving the groove for your body and these I call setting strips again A4 just chop down and we just pin them into place like this. So literally you've got two strips of paper, nice and smooth for your specimen. Then entomological pin, various sizes, this is quite a small one, you can use all different sizes. So you get your specimen this is what you call Idia Blanchardi from Indonesia. You relax it on some tissue paper um, with water. You don't really need to use relaxing fluid. It does the same thing. And you put them in to relax for a couple of days until they're pliable to move, just like I'm doing. So that's your specimen. Try not to smudge the wings when you hold it. Hold it like you're not holding it very gently. Grab its forex, give it a nip, which makes the wings open as you can see. Couple of this, very pliable. Then get your tweezers, get your pin, and you go straight through the thorax. So as you making sure that the pin is nice and straight push down and it come through and there's your pin then put the specimen into the middle of the board and push down making sure it's level and then just push down on the thorax until it's level and lined up in your groove there. You can use setting needles. I tend to use a large pin. I find it easier. And then what you do, you do one side at a time. You push this over there. To make it easier for yourself, just pop a pin there to hold one side down and then do exactly the same the other side, keeping this straight to the groove. Then when you've got it like this, if you're not satisfied that it's level enough, just do this business like this, making sure it's level. When you're happy with that, I tend to do the left hand side first. And you don't want to jab holes in the wings. You don't use no pins through the wings. You get your needle, or your set a needle, or your large pin, however you want to use, and you find its thick veins. Now you've got veins all over the wings. Use the strongest ones to actually push. You're not jabbing, you're resting and pushing. So I'll do this side first. 
So we're pushing. And as I'm pushing, I'm lifting this up. You see? So it can move. Like this. Another way. Get the pin. And go for the veins right near the thorax. And do this. I'm lifting. Now. The body is twisting. You overcome that. By using a large pin. So when the body's twisting, you put a large pin here and just push there so the thorax starts to come level. And when it's level, carry on. Or if you think, am I happy with that? Or you want it higher? It's totally your own choice. So we rest on here and I'm lifting and I'm doing the same. I'm not pushing a hole through the wing. I'm just lifting the paper and pushing on the pin. It's up to you as a collector how high you want these. If you start to push and you think you're getting nowhere here, try to go for a thicker vein just here. So then when you're happy with your side that you've done, keeping this pulled down. If you let go, it'll fall down. So then you start again, like this. And then back to here, like that. That's when you're happy. Pin, keeping this pulled tight, your setting strip. Two pins at the top. If your wing persists to move, just put another one there. Not in the wing. And then, one at the bottom. One at the top. This is all done by eyesight, mainly. This board does have lines on. Um, you can do wings to the tops of lines. So you get an equal amount either sides. Take this pin away. Again. Push. Keep pushing. So you're ready. Like this. If you think that it's a little bit higher than the other, just lift and tap. Something like this. You go for your bottom wing. And what you need to be doing is the bottom wings needs to be equal. So this little white here you want to repeat it on this side, so just drop it down so you're roughly level, either side. And then again, it's all about being level. Then once you're happy, again, pin at the top, two pins, you can't use enough pins, more the merrier, keeping this nice and straight, and that's your specimen with the wings set, now we have to tidy up the body and the antennas, use larger pins, best to cross, cross the pins, like this. There. With its antennas, you push. There's two ways. If you want to put a pin through here, like that, to keep his head straight, you can do that, just like that, with a large pin. 
Some people trap the antennas under the papers. I don't. And then, like this. And then again. What you're trying to do is make sure that the antennas are nice and equal and straight. So it always finishes the specimen off if it's straight. So I just this. Remember one thing when you're actually doing this: don't get your hands on the specimens because you will rub, and that is a finished product. And then, when you've got to that stage, you can carry on setting down the board various specimens. You can put as many specimens that your board will allow. And then you start the process again, like this. When you get to this level, you need to cover these wings. If you don't cover the wings, the wings will go like this and curl. So you need to keep the specimen flat. And what I use is a slightly thinner paper. Thinner than your A4 and you can see through it. And what you do, you drop this on there. Both sides. So you completely cover your specimen. Which keeps any dust search lights off the wings and what you do is you pin pins at the top once you've got it like this again pull tight to a degree put in pins not through the wings at the side of the wings keeping it nice and tight which keeps the butterflies nice and flat And these was papered specimens that was purchased online. So normally it takes between two and three days to relax. And once they're on the boards, if you have a drying room or an airing cupboard or um, anything warm, two or three days they're dry and they're ready to take off the boards and all you do taking them off the boards is re reversing what you've just done taking all the pins out and once you've got them off the boards take the specimen off with the pin and put in your storage drawers collecting box and that will be your finished product. How was that?